Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Kobe from Sanitarium Productions. Today we've got something a little bit different for y'all. We're taking a look at the G.I. Joe Retaliation Snake Eyes Play Sword. Uh, this came from Disguise Costumes and is meant as kind of one of those uh, role-playing swords. Uh, but it's a cool sword and it's really cheap and I thought it would be pretty awesome to take a look and uh, just review it real quick for y'all since I've not really seen one of these on the internet yet and uh, I'm sure if you're like me you're probably interested in seeing what it actually is versus what you think it is in your head. So we're going to do a quick review on this thing and uh, let y'all see it in the plastic and right here in front of us. So stick around and we'll go ahead and tear into this thing. So this is the G.I. Joe Retaliation Snake Eyes Sword from Disguise Costumes. I got this from Amazon for a very good price. Very cheap. This is how it was shipped, so it's just in this crazy wrapper thing. So just tear the wrapper off of it and uh, take a look and see what this thing is. So this is how it's packaged. It has a nice protective little plastic thing over top of it. Uh, and you can see the G.I. Joe Retaliation logo stuff here. A little bit over on the back. Not a whole lot here. Uh, but fairly decent packaging. So kind of cool. Uh, let's see what we got to do to take this thing apart. It's got, um, looks like just this one zip tie at the top. So we're just going to snip it with our wire cutters. And throw that in the trash. And then the package just slips off just like that. And we're left with the sword itself. Uh, Maybe a bit bright in here, so let me see if I can adjust the lighting a little bit here to make this show up a little bit better. Well, that's a little better. It has this, uh, as we said, plastic cover on it, so uh, you gotta just slip the plastic cover off. And here is the sword itself. It's uh, fairly long, nice looking. Uh, it's got a little bit of uh, wear on the hilt here, just some paint chipping and things like that. But if you flip it over, 2009 Paramount, 2009 Hasbro, 2009 Disguise, and it's made in China. Looking at the hilt, uh, it is fairly well representing the uh, movie version of Snake Eyes' sword. Nice grip on it. Does have the Arish Shaggy, however you say that, uh, print on it. It's got the cool looking uh, guard. And other than that, it's just a regular looking plastic sword but two hands can hold it very well let's see how long this thing is in total kinda hard to get it all in frame here using our handy dandy tape measure go from the top to the bottom and it's about thirty and a half inches I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, 30 and a half inches. So, fairly long. It's uh, kind of flimsy, but not as bad as I thought it would be. It does have just two uh, little metal bolts here in the, that connect the hilt to the actual blade itself. As you can see there. Overall, it's... Uh, lightweight and fairly decent so for a uh, costume piece that uh, you can take with you into like conventions or other establishments that frown upon actual weapons 
this wouldn't be bad at all. Especially considering the price that we paid for it. It was uh, like 10 bucks. So not bad at all. Does not have a sheath or anything like that. So you'll have to do some creative geniusing to uh, figure out how to make a sheath for yourself. Um, I don't know. I may go into a tutorial at some point on that. But the overall sword itself, very cool looking. Uh, for a $10 item, I'm actually pretty impressed. Again, it's not going to hold up very well to a lot of play acting or anything like that. Kind of flexible, bends pretty well. So you don't have to worry about hurting people too much with it. It does have the nice serrated edge here, just like the film sword. So yeah, overall, very cool looking. I can put my two hands on it fairly easily. On the hilt at least. So, pretty cool. I like it. So that's been our review for the G.I. Joe Retaliation Disguise Costuming Accessory Snake Eyes Sword. As you can see, it's a pretty cool sword overall. Uh, it is a little short, but it is, again, made for younger audiences. So, But still, it's a pretty nice if you just need a, an accessory for your costume or something like that. Very good representation of the movie sword uh, for a very fraction of the cost, considering it's like 10 bucks for this thing. That's pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah, if you don't have one already, pick it up. I recommend the thing. I think there's also a Storm Shadow version. I'm going to try to get a hold of that, and we'll do a review for you here as well. But the uh, Snake Eyes sword gets a big thumbs up from us, so it's cool. So, thanks for watching. Leave some comments below, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Let us know what you'd like to see in the future, I suppose. Till then, uh, go Joe.